So I hope to be that kind of dad one day for my children. They say being present is 90% of the battle and I want to be present. Actually, heading out to run an errand this morning. Got to run to the store. We're heading out town today. And again, by the time you watch this video, we already gone. So don't bother trying to rob us. A little sad today, actually, because we are heading to the beach with my family, and it's supposed to storm really bad down there. I guess a tropical storm is coming. But we are going to try and go anyways. So let's pray that the weather clears up a little bit. Margaret went to work this morning. There are a few things that she has to do at work. So we are out here running a couple of errands before we head out of town. You know, it's really strange when I'm driving and I'm holding this big old camera in my hand. And I guess this city that I live in is not very familiar with vloggers or filmmakers. So I would get these weird stares from all these people who, whom I'm driving by. All right, what is this guy doing recording himself? I'm feeling a little better about it now because before I used to be really shy and I wouldn't do it at all. But the more I've done it, the more I care less about what people think. make a quick stop here at a store because Sunday is Father's Day Sunday and I haven't got my dad anything for Father's Day uh, we're gonna be at the beach together so I stopped to pick him up a card a little gift card if you're not in a country where you celebrate Father's Day you should try to do it anyway it's yeah, so the one day that we, I mean, we should do it every day, but it's a one day that's dedicated to dads. In case you don't know, I'm not a dad yet, but I will be next year. Margaret had a checkup yesterday to see the baby's gender, and everything is fine. The baby's healthy, and we can't wait for two more weeks to find out what the baby's gender is. But anyways, back to the dad part. Um, I am blessed enough to have two dads, now three, including my father-in-law. The two dads that I have, one that gave me life and raised me, the other one helped raise me the rest of the way. And both have been very good to me, try to teach me to do the right thing, try to teach me, set an example, and, and I'm thankful for that. And I hope that you have a dad that is such a big influence in your life because both of them have been such a good influence in my life. that sets an example for what I want to do or how I want to be when my baby comes. I think one of the most important things that my dads have taught me is always to be available. What that means is the dad that I have here, Pop, I call him, he's always there, doesn't matter what. If I need him at night, I can call him. If I need him in the morning, I can call him. I need advice on this, I can call him. I need advice on that, I can call him. And it doesn't matter how tired he is, because most of the time recently, this past year for sure, we have been going through a very tough time, especially for him with tax season where everything's getting extended. But it doesn't matter how tired he is, he always picks up or calls me back. 
and he always is available to answer my question and that means a lot so I hope to be that kind of dad one day for my children and you know they say being present is 90% of the battle and I want to be present the other part is to to not just teach but teach by example so my dad always taught me to do the right thing by example and for that I'm grateful I actually have to go home and pack it's way too late we're supposed to be at my parents in 30 minutes and that's not gonna happen Margaret's still at work so hopefully we can do some quick packing when we get home <laughs> our annual leave our son at home so we can go on vacation day. Yeah, so this year we're taking one baby and we're leaving one baby. Oops, Dad. Are you ready for your treats, huh? How come we always leave the four-legged one? You ready? We're not discriminating against leg, legs. Yeah. And Mommy will leave you a few treats up here for you to find later. <laughs> yeah. Somehow I think he'll find it. Look, there's some more treats for you. So how I think I'm gonna go find... leave him some treats on our bed too. Yeah. Hey baby. We're gonna eat all of them before we even go out the driveway. Aunt Ruth will take care of you, okay? <laughs> Listen, do you say goodbye to your baby brother or sister? Yeah. It's gonna be like treats to have a baby. Yes, it's gonna be like <laughs> treats. <laughs> it's gonna pull your tail. And it's gonna pull your fur. Yes. Well, you guys pray for us. Well, by the time you pray, we would already been gone and been back. But let's hope this rain stops because uh, it's supposed to rain a lot. We'll see you guys at the beach. Yes, we're running late. Did you get my little cap? Yes, we're running late as always. We have never been on a vacation where we run early. Well, I wonder why, huh? Huh? You see someone back there digging for stuff? Okay, now wait a minute. Hmm? You've been late today too. Huh? It's not just me. Oh yeah, she's definitely late, no doubt. I I've been late, but no, you no, too. no. I had to go and run her errands for her. Yeah, just think about okay, that. Okay, was in here. And she was still late. John. Yep. Yeah. 